So in this video for Google Merchant Center tutorials, we're going to be setting up shipping and returns. Now, the beauty of this is that if you set up the shipping and returns the correct way, you can increase sales. So one of the um, metrics that they have here is that if your delivery time is five days or less and you offer free shipping, your product can qualify. Now, another Google rule that they have is that um, it must be between one and 10 days. So no longer than that. Um, otherwise you'll get an error. So if you click here to learn more, there's a whole page that you can read on about uh, Google shipping and whatnot. So I'm gonna just show you the easy, dirty way of how to set up the shipping the correct way in the Google Merchant Center. So to get to your Google Merchant Center shipping and return section, you're gonna click on this cog up here and go to shipping and returns. And since I'm already in this section, it just already took me here. So if I go back to the front page, click on shipping returns, it'll take me to shipping and returns. Now I've already set up a shipping and returns. So if I click on here, um, you could see that I've added all the countries um, because I, um, my product is a digital product, so it can be sold all across the world. So if you have products that can be sold across the world, you can add these here. So I chose zero to one day as my transit time, and um, I have free shipping in here. You can view all the shipping services here. You can add different services here. Um, however, in this tutorial, we're gonna go back and we're just going to explore how to set up the shipping um, the way that I did. All right, so if you click on add a shipping service here, you're gonna add a name, okay? So when I added my name, I named it free shipping. Okay, and this is just for test purposes. I'm just gonna go one, um, cause I've already named this and you can use this checkout on my website for pre-products, listing, shopping ads, local product ads, check out on Google, buy on Google. You wanna select your area, mine is the United States. And then you have to go in here and manually add all of the country codes. And the delivery location is at the customer's address. Um, I had already added all the country codes to mine. So um, what you would do to add those country codes is you just come in here and you would select the countries that you want to add. You don't have to do that. If you wanna default it to the United States, you could leave it like that. And your currencies, US dollars, that's what you wanna get paid in. So go next. And then you're going to choose um, custom delivery times based on your carrier partner and just select and then set a range of delivery times. All right, so here um, I just put in zero one, and then I selected the days, Monday through Sunday, zero one, and I'm mean, sorry, zero and one, and Monday through Sunday, and this gives you a date of one, so that's the earliest shipping time. And then um, if you don't have any cutoff dates for your holidays, you don't have to. Put this here but this is if you just don't want to sh do shipping during holidays okay and then you select free shipping all right and um, here you can choose free shipping you can choose different things that you want and then just click press save now I'm gonna not going to press save on mine because I've already set mine up I just wanted to show you how you set up your shipping in Google Merchant Center now I hope you like this video if you did please subscribe and thanks so much for watching